the smear campaign. We urge New Yorkers to reject the fear campaign being waged against City Council member Charles Barron. Such tactics discourage voter participation and infringe upon democratic expression. Voters should be encouraged to go to the polls. Following recent press coverage of Charles's growing support, an effort has begun to undermine his candidacy through unmerited personal attacks. We are New York City residents who know that these attacks are not truthful and are not based in reality. We know Charles personally from his involvement in fighting for the things that matter to the people of New York. He has been with us in fighting for affordable housing, for new and quality schools, and for parks. We know Charles because he has been standing up for workers, for students, and for the environment. And he's been especially active against fracking in New York State. Charles continues to champion health care for all and immigrant rights, standing for human needs rather than war. His firm opposition to stop and frisk and advocacy for civil and human rights for all from Brooklyn and worldwide have been a hallmark of his city council tenure. We encourage all voters in the 8th Congressional District to come out and vote their conscience, as well as encourage your neighbors, friends, families, and co-workers to do so. The future of the 8th District is at stake. We have the freedom to choose. Thank you. Uh, my name is Sean Ahern. I'm a New York City public school teacher and Charles Barron has been the most outstanding political leader in New York City defending public schools and standing with us in front of these schools that have been closed by Mayor Bloomberg. He's opposed the charter invasion of the public schools and he is one of the strongest defenders of labor rights of any New York City politician and that's why I'm here today. I urge everyone to reject these kind of smear tactics and come out and vote and support Barron for uh, congressional office. My name is Russell Dale. I'm a teacher as well in New York City. I, I teach uh, philosophy and uh, I also want to speak out against the smear tactics that have been used against Charles Barron and call for a fair election in the 8th district and uh, I call on the people of the 8th district to go out and vote their conscience and, and do what's right in spite of all of this fear-mongering that's been put out by the press and a lot of major political organizations that are trying to influence the vote uh, for whatever their uh, reasons are. So I call on everybody to, to get out there and vote uh, on Tuesday and, uh, and vote for Charles Barron as well. Uh, Larry Holmes, International Action Center. The plain honest truth is that Charles Barron represents the 99% all the time and those people who are trying to defame him and who are afraid that he will be the representative of the 8th congressional district well they represent the one percent i'm tammy gold and i'm a professor in the city university of new york charles barron has been our friend has fought for public higher education has been by our side, has led our demonstration, has spoken out for New York City students, faculty and staff. The smear campaign is only because politicians are afraid. When they see somebody like Charles Barron speak up, they try to disgrace them. We have to counter these attacks. Vote for Charles Barron. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jose, one of the organizers from the Stop and Frisk campaign. We definitely support Charles Barron because we believe him to be a people's champion and he has been supporting, you know, saying the people of color for a very long time, not just in Brooklyn, but in the Bronx, in Manhattan, in Queens. This man goes everywhere and it's not afraid to stand up against any force that deals with oppression and deals with dehumanizing the human family. And he stands together with everybody. So I support Charles Barron. Vote for Charles Barron. 
My name is Jeff Perry. I'm from New Jersey, but I came here today in support of uh, my friends in New York and Charles Barron um, because if he's elected to the House of Representatives, he will be speaking for all of us in this country. And he is the most outstanding candidate in the field in terms of his positions on international issues and human rights. And I think we all should pay attention to his platform and what he stands for and his past record. He is a candidate that will serve our interests internationally as well. Thank you. All right. Okay. Okay. Cover all the It's a wrap. Yeah. It's a wrap? All right. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! He's a, a rarity. He's an honest politician. Wow. He's a guy who tells the truth. He doesn't tell you what you want to hear. He tells the truth whether you like it or not. He's a rarity. He's an honest politician.